Hello YouTube, how are you guys doing today? So in today's video we're going over seven things you guys didn't know in Warframe, or probably didn't know, part three. So uh, the first thing that I want to bring up to you guys that a lot of you probably didn't know is that if you go to a relay, uh, other than Maru's Bazaar, you guys can actually access a dry dock so you don't need a dojo with a dry dock anymore, which is really cool. So you guys totally do that. That's easy peasy for any of you that are getting involved in real jack stuff. Maybe you're hunting Kuva Liches or Corpus Liches or whatever it might be. The second thing you guys want to be aware of is that you can access your arsenal from your relay if you didn't already know. So you can go to equipment, you can go to arsenal. And ta-da, here we are in our arsenal. So you literally can change your appearance. You can customize your weapons and loadouts and all that stuff straight from, straight from any relay. Um, and you should even be able to do this in Maru's Bazaar, but at least from the relays, you guys can do this. So, the third thing that you guys want to know that you can do is you guys can actually... Let me wind up going to my dojo while I do this. Oh, somebody blessed. Very nice. Fast travel. I want to go to uh, navigation. I'm going to go to dojo. So, you guys can actually wind up for the third thing. You can trade in Maru's Bazaar. And you can trade in your dojo without a trading post. This is actually three and four. Three is you can trade in Maru's Bazaar. Four is you can trade in your dojo without a trading post. So we're going to load in my dojo. I'm going to show you guys really quick. Uh, I'm using a controller right now. I'm not sure what it is on keyboard and mouse, but uh, that's not it. So I'm hitting down on the D-pad and it says trading, offer up items. So I'm going to hit Y to set up shop. And I don't even have to put anything here if I don't want to, but I could. Um, and then I can just hit accept. And now here we are. I am able to trade now without a trading post wherever I want to go. So you can do this in Maru's Bazaar. You can do this in your dojo. Literally just walk around and beg people to smell your armpits. And it totally works just like that. So the fifth thing that you guys want to be aware of as we leave the dojo is that if you guys weren't aware, the quests in the game that offer you up Warframes, most of them, I don't think it's 100%, but most of the quests in the game that offer you guys up Warframes for completing the quest, or at least the blueprint for completing the quest. If you already have that Warframe, like let's say you go to the market up here, and you wind up buying a Warframe out of the market, then you wind up doing the quest, a lot of those quests, instead of giving you a blueprint you don't need anymore, they'll give you a Riven. So, you'll just straight up, come um, upon completion of the, uh, of the quest, you'll get an extra Riven out of that, which is pretty cool. Um, sixth thing you guys might not know, is that you don't need to wait seven days to remove a hickey. So if you guys, you know, wind up getting like this little perp, this little orange, uh, pink, this little pink like hickey on your neck or whatever, it means you got space aids or you got infected by a nidus or somebody else that had it. And uh, you don't need to wait seven days to remove that anymore. You used to, but uh, you don't anymore. So you can literally just come to this thing, you can sit in it, and it'll have an option to remove the cyst from your Warframe. Uh, the last thing, the seventh thing, this is really cool. And uh, I've noticed a lot of new players coming to the game have no idea this is a thing. So I want to show this off because it's it's pretty cool. You have a small percent chance when you guys make a uh, like an animal that the animal winds up with a lotus sigil on its face. Now this is really rare and typically they're worth a lot more platinum. But you have a very small percentage of, of being able to get this. You also could trade for imprints that other people have made of their Kubro that has this imprint on its face. Uh, and you could potentially, when making your new Kubro, use those imprints to cause, you know, whatever Kubro that you make have that Lotus Sigil on its face. And that's pretty cool. Um, and like I said, it's worth a little bit more, it's, it's, it's worth more Platinum to have this on a face because it's rare, it's cool looking, and um, completely represents the vibe of the game. All that being said, Hope you guys enjoyed this uh, part three of seven things you didn't know in Warframe. There's a lot of things I get asked, asked constantly on my streams that I've already covered in part one and two. So I, I understand the information's random and stuff, but it's stuff that most of you want to know because you ask me anyway. That's why I'm throwing them in the video. So if you haven't already seen part one, you haven't already seen part two, check those out. Uh, they will be, I don't know, links, links around here. They'll be there. Also, if you guys like free Warframes, weapons, and mods, you can come down to my Twitch channel. Uh, I'm live every single day, and you guys can actually earn free Warframes, weapons, and mods. It's not a joke. Seriously can do that. Um, ask me more about that when you get down here. And if you guys found this video helpful, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications on. And if I don't see you guys in the next one, I will see you guys on my Twitch channel. Laters!